Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to trace. Um, if you go to websites like Studio Calico or Two Piece in a Bucket, you will see that they have cut files available for you to purchase, but they're not true cut files. Now, if you're using the designer edition of Silhouette Studio, you won't have any problems using those files because most of the file packets contain a, a .svg file, which is readable and it will convert cut lines for you. But if you are not using the designer edition or the file that you received is a .png or it's only a graphics file, what you'll need to do is trace. So I'm going to show you how to trace now. The first thing you'll need to do is open your image. And you can see I have these banners and it is it was part of the um, June one of the June releases for Studio Calico. So a while back, I don't think it's available anymore. But anyways, you open it up and you have it on your cutting, at, cutting mat and you're going to click on the top right hand corner on the trace window. And the first step is to select your trace area. So I'm going to click that menu option and draw a box around my entire image, or in this case images, and you see yellow pop up. Everywhere you see yellow is where a cut line is going to appear. It's going to appear on the edges. So since I want this to cut the way it looks in black, I'm going to have to change some settings. So I'm going to turn up my high pass filter. And I'm thinking it's probably going to need to be about a 17. And it's not quite perfect. You can still see some rough areas in the letters here. So I'm also going to turn on the low pass filter and turn it up a little bit. Or excuse me, I should say down. Now this looks pretty clean. There are still some splotchy areas, but those won't be seen when I create the cut lines. So the next step is to actually make the cut lines by telling it to go ahead and trace. And to do that, I'm just going to interior letters traced. And then if I tr click at cut lines. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.